here we are with another video and um, today it's gonna be another mod it is by Renegade Motorsports it is their coolant reservoir uh, let me go grab it it is the uh, black like coating kind of reminds me of like a track bed liner or underbody lining but uh, yeah let's go over it so here is the reservoir uh, it's got a nice finish feels nice in hand like I said it reminds me of like that truck bed liner kind of material or that what like uh, the underbody um, it's got this nice uh, like grippy stuff on the lid yeah so let's see let's open it up this it's got like a little giant o-ring in there so it kind of creates a seal when it sits across this here's how it looks inside you know it's empty and stuff this is the bracket where it's going to sit in hello hello yeah, um, the reason why I upgraded or chose for this mod was, um, one, my OEM one is currently cracking and, you know, it's plastic, so it's going to go through a lot of uh, heat cycles, you know, the cooling gets really hot, but um, overall, just gave me a reason to upgrade. They were having a sale on this one. You need a hose here. Uh, I'm guessing the outer diameter of the OEM is not going to fit this because, you know, aftermarket. But um, they provide that with the kit. It's this like clear, like braided hose. Cool thing is it comes with two um, hose clamps, which you know, pretty sure the OEMs wouldn't be able to fit it. It also comes with the O-ring in there, which uh, I went over their instructions and how they recommend it. That O-ring is going to go towards the radiator side. This part of the hose is going to go to their uh, to their product, and then this is going to connect to the radiator. Um, they give you the o-ring because I'm guessing this uh, What is the inner diameter of this hose is probably slightly bigger and again, it's gonna create a seal uh, They have a whole write-up on their page. I'll link it if any of you guys are thinking of getting this It's gonna be really cool um, spice up the engine bay also Supporting the small business is always cool in my eyes, but um who doesn't love getting car parts? I love ordering it and just being like I want to see the tracking number even though I know it's not coming as soon as I purchase it, but it's like, I don't know, it's just like a psychological thing, like I love ordering parts, and um, you're just like, oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, and you're tracking it every day, like, and you know, and then the shipping companies give you an estimated time of arrival, and sometimes it doesn't come within, you're like, bum, but anyway, besides the fact, but um, yeah, super hyped, um, let's see how this goes, and the OEM, I'll show it, it's kind of cracking near the top, like, if I was to press really hard with my thumb on it, it would definitely uh, cave on in. And yeah, I'm really stoked. We'll move on to the installation. But all right, guys. So I'm gonna show you the link to the instructions regarding how to install the coolant reservoir. So you wanna obviously open up your browser, head to their website. I already have like a quick link because they go on their website a lot. I like to check out their newest products and just see what they're up to. So if you pay attention up top, it's gonna be in this specific category. So we'll just go to the main screen, which most people will enter click on the engine tab keep scrolling and here it is right next to the radiator dual pass so click it here's everything you need to know price whatever um, here's the details regarding what it's made of construction material etc here is the quick link to it if for some reason that quick link isn't there you can always go up here to the tab it's called technical click it obviously and these are they're going to be their recent posts obviously click the one that says coolant reservoir um, here's the disclaimers uh, what comes with the kit uh, the tools required to take care of this job the difficulty 2 out of 10 and the time for completion uh, so here's the warning obviously do not try to attempt this job when the car is hot the coolant is going to be severely hot and will burn you here's how the braided hose goes there's the braided hose is going to connect onto that little nipple on there and this is where the o-ring side is 
here's the o-ring it connects to this radiator um little nipple thingy you're gonna have to use the flathead to s slowly pry against that um and uh you're just gonna have to kind of slip it in so it creates a seal and then obviously install the radiator cap or uh, OEM blue Honda coolant. But uh, yeah, that's everything regarding it. Just wanted to show you guys where I'm looking at and where I'm getting this info from as instructions aren't included in the kit. Or maybe mine aren't because it's shipped straight from the manufacturer or maybe where they got the coating finished. I don't know. But uh, yeah, here's everything. Alright, so here's the OEM one. It's going to be in the driver's side of the car to the left but you can see it's just slowly cracking their kit's gonna obviously delete that hose and yeah let's get right into it that's the OEM there's that little slip where it goes right in no uh, bolts or hardware needed just uh, slip it in obviously the car hasn't been started it's morning Car's been sitting in the garage, got a lot of work to do to it, so I can disregard any potential burns. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get the new Renegade. Alright, so let's dive into this. We're going to remove the OEM reservoir. Again, like I said, there's no hardware uh, involved in this. It's literally just a slip fit. Uh, first, by removing this cap, because there's going to be a hose in there, and you don't want to be caught up by it. This is why you're going to need that shop rag they're talking about. Just for any coolant spills or anything. Uh, or, or not, I guess. Pull up. Here's the OEM. You can see it's kind of messed up. It's dirty. It's not even OEM coolant. Pass owner had that. I haven't done a coolant flush yet, but I'm just going to put that on the ground. We're going to have to remove this hose just came off so yeah there's that let's get this new one so this bracket right here you're gonna slip this into again bear with me I'm doing this one-handed there you go that's nice and installed. Next, you have to put the line to here, to here, and we'll get to that. So here's the finished product after everything's been mounted. The hose is on. Uh, use the supplied clamps it's given you. Uh, the only part that's probably difficult, but is in the instructions, is that O-ring. The instructions tell you how to install it. I just use like a little flathead while I was slipping on that hose. But yeah, super fairly easy. Looks nice, and I'm super stoked on it. Uh, hopefully this video helps you guys again. This is not a paid ad. I paid for this with my own money and yeah Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day